every game needs art assets. However, creating art for your game still takes up more than 50% of production resources. Art direction can change many times during development, but we need art assets at every stage of production. And while the asset store is a great place to go, ensuring compatibility and consistency between the different packages can be tough. That's why Unity came up with a solution called Snaps. The goal is to provide you with an exhaustive library of modular content, where consistency and compatibility is ensured by us. The first part of it are the Snaps prototypes. Built with real-world scale in mind, they make it easy for both novice and intermediate level designers to quickly build up game environments and can later be substituted for highly detailed art assets. Like other asset packages, you can get snaps from the asset store. Before we start using them, we need to make sure our project meets a few simple requirements. First, your project should be in Unity 2018.3 or higher, since snaps were made using the new prefab workflows introduced in this version. Second, you will need to have two packages installed in your project. ProBuilder, and ProGrids. Both of them are completely free, and you can install them using the Package Manager UI. Alternatively, you can download your first Snaps package, and it will override your project settings to include these packages automatically. Once this part of the setup is done, we can explore the Snaps available to us on the Asset Store. Currently, there are two packages, one based around a sci-fi or industrial theme and another that contains props for a typical office interior. As time goes on, Unity will release many more packages of prototyping assets. But let's see what we can put together using the ones available to us at the moment. I'll download and import both of these packages. And after that, let's take a quick look at our project folder structure. Snaps are located under the Asset Store Originals folder under underscore snaps underscore prototyping assets. Here you can find an About folder with some documentation, as well as all of our assets, categorized by their package's name. Each of these asset folders has a prefabs folder, which has all of the meshes with assigned materials ready to be placed into our scene. There is also a Sample Scenes folder containing some examples of how you can arrange the props in a level. Time to create a new scene and see how we can arrange snaps into a level. For this example, I will be using both Snaps packages to prototype some futuristic-looking living quarters. If you've installed all the project requirements, you will see some new UI elements in your scene window. If you don't yet see the ProGrids UI in the scene view, you can enable it by choosing Tools, ProGrids, ProGrids window. These are part of the ProGrids and ProBuilder packages. For now, we will focus on using ProGrids to quickly snap our props together on a grid. You can change the visibility of your grid, as well as its display on either the X, Y, or Z axis, or all three at the same time. You can also turn the snapping functionality on or off, as well as change the snapping increment in Unity units. You can access some additional snapping settings by right-clicking, including whether you want to snap objects when you're scaling. Let's put the grid to use by starting to lay down our floor tiles. We can find them in our prefabs folder under structure, floors underscore ceilings. Once we drag them into the scene, we can use the push to grid button to align it to progrids. Now, we can start laying more tiles down to form our level. We can make this a little faster by changing the snapping increment to three, since that's how big each of the floor tiles are. We can also grab some walls and start laying them out in a similar manner. We'll add some doors, after which we can move on to placing our props. All Snaps props have their pivot set to the center base of the object by default, making them easy to place on the floor. If you need to place props on top of one another, it might be easier to temporarily turn off snapping so that the base will automatically align itself with the top of the other object. And after placing some props around, 
we have the structure of our level in place. Now, one of the great things about snaps is that you can replace them with high-res assets. Once you've got a layout in place, you can use a script to replace all the snaps prefabs with new models. An example script is supplied by us. You can find it under Assets, Snaps, Replace Objects. In the options, you can pass it in a prefab folder containing all your high-resolution assets. Provided their file names match the ones from Snaps, you can replace all the objects in the scene with a single click. So now you know all about quick and easy prototyping with Snaps. The packages shown in this video will be linked down in the description below. Stay tuned for our next video to find out how you can customize Snaps and create your own models, all within Unity.